welcome to another low effort show. Low effort, Logan, this is draw to completion. Where we draw. Well, you draw, I just sit here and look pretty. Or we draw to completion. Ruin the joke by explaining it! We're talking about games we played as children's. When we were but little babies. And, uh, I guess first up we're going to talk about Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong. You know what, maybe we'll just talk about nothing but Donkey Kong. You know, Who that's knows? A, that's a good idea, but, uh, anyways, back on Donkey Kong Country. That was actually the first game I ever beat when I was younger. Yeah, you mentioned you used to play it with your mom or something. I played that, and I played uh, Super Mario World a lot with my mom. Like, I remember that was just, like, something we both just clicked on or whatever, you know? Just had a blast, just, you know, being able to actually enjoy something together. My first exposure to, like, Donkey Kong Country, I think, was uh, the port of it to Game Boy Advance. Because I had it on Game Boy Advance. Was that any good? Because I always saw other kids playing that, but I always, like, you know, that doesn't have any really good color to it. It's so. the same, it's the same exact game. Same it was game. just in, like, it was just in green or whatever. Or not green, it just, uh, it didn't have any color, right? What do you mean, no, you're talking about the Game Boy, the Game Boy game. Oh, I'm talking about, the, talking about the Game Boy Advance game. It, oh, right. It's just the same exact game. Okay. The Game Boy, now the Game Boy game, that was Donkey Kong Land or something? Something like that. And it's a, uh, it's its own game. It's different. Which, I mean, I've played it a little bit before. Yeah, the, uh, Donkey Kong Country is like, just one of those things I remember, like, actually, like, actually every day after school just trying to get further and further until I could beat it. And I know, like, the first couple levels are relatively simple once you understand it. Like, you know, when you get to that beaver, you just have to learn his pattern. But it's like, after that, like, the minecarts always gave me the hardest time. Just because I wasn't in control of them, and I had to, like, understand I was basically just pressing the jump button at the right time. That was the one time my mom actually really had to help me. Just because little Derek was real dummy just when it came to minecarts. Just because you were stupid. I was. I was in special needs. An absolute, just little moron that couldn't play Donkey Kong. Look An at ignoramus, you. if you will. Just complete loser. I was a <laughs> Donkey Kong. I don't know. Donkey Kong. <laughs> <A> Donkey Kong. <laughs> um, what do you think of this Donkey Kong I'm drawing? I think he looks horrifying. <laughs> like, he's seen some stuff. This looks like Donkey Kong. Like, he's seen the state of trans rights right now, and he's not happy with he's... how everyone's just acting. But they need to get their stuff together. Uh, no, no, no. no. Nah. Banana. <laughs> See, I always would go banana. Banana. I think that's just because I remember the Rugrats movie. Now we're gonna give God, it. God, that had like that whole scene where like Tommy tries to literally kill his brother by like covering him in banana or whatever, and just like you want bananas, dude? Let's give you bananas. And there's like all these other monkeys around him. It's like he's about to kill his brother. Yeah, even the monkeys are like, are like, what? Woo -woo. <laughs> like this is. A this is a boost. No. Ape shall not kill ape. Ape shall not kill. <laughs> but it's like, baby shall not kill baby. That's a weird thing to think about. You think there's been any babies that just murdered each other? In the womb. Yeah, we're getting off topic here. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a duck. God, that, that, what, was that, what was that expression? Here? That was like if Donkey Kong and the Grinch like fused together or whatever. Hmm. Are you, oh my god, are you just... I get it, you made it look like he has a banana mouth. <laughs> god. I could not tell you, though, how excited I was that day. Like I came home from school and I was like ready to beat King K. Rule. Did you ever see, and I'm sure you did, because I got a lot of nostalgia for it, the uh, Donkey Kong Country cartoon. Yes, the one where everyone talks and like every episode has a great song in it. Yeah, like some of the songs are legitimately kind of good. Here's the thing. 
I hated that show so much when I was a kid. I really, I liked it. Because, well, here's the thing. The only time I saw it was when I was staying at home at, when I was sick, you know? And it was either that or I had to watch the little baby Tiny Toons thing or whatever. Or not Tiny Toons, it was like baby Looney Tunes. I know a lot of people got nostalgia for that show. I don't think it's that great. Like, I associated this, like, the Donkey Kong Country show and that Baby Looney Tunes with being sick, so, like, take that as you want. But, like, I just I just remember being a kid, I'm just like, this isn't Donkey Kong, this is not how he's supposed to act or whatever. But now as I'm an adult, I can appreciate the actual quality that was put into this show. Like, good lord, the amount of effort they put into each song as well. I really enjoy that show. It introduced, like, new characters, like, uh, what was his name? Captain... What, what, the, what was the pirate's name? Do you remember? Captain oh. something, I don't know. Like let's, I said, like... Let's look at this up. Don, don, Donkey Kong... Donkey Kong... Kong... Rule 34. Cartoon... Captain. Cat. He had a really good song, too. Captain Scurvy. Captain Scurvy. Cap or, or Captain Falcon. That's the second one. It could be. This is the kid is the second. Oh, of course. That's why. His name is actually Captain with a K. That's why we couldn't remember. Captain. Oh, because he's a he's a Kremlin. Oh, oh, I remember this. I remember like being really uncomfortable because he looked like he had giant boobs all the time. He does have giant boobs. I was like, even my dad like noticed this too, and it was just like. I mean, he's got big honking, just big old honking titties. titties. What's this? Good lord! Oh, that's yeah. This probably had a lot of bar art. That's bar. That's definitely fetish art. Yeah. You know what? I, we should probably stop when looking. When they give him pants, you know it's not. It's. <laughs> oh god. I like how you can tell they reuse models, like because Scurvy is just the same model as a. Uh, Captain, what's his name? King K. Rool? No, there's Clump. That's his name, Clump. I don't know. Clump. Come down. And then uh, K. Rule has the same model as Cutlass. His... Let's be real though. We all, everyone remembers the Donkey Kong Country cartoon now because of the memes. Oh, the well, expand the dong. Or you may slap it Here's once. A... That's a one. I'll say this: like the thing I don't like the most about the cartoon is literally Candy Kong. <laughs> Why is she that? has that 90s design, which just, I don't know, it's like, I can't explain this. So, 80s character designs were always, like, more appealing to me, but, like, when you get into the 90s, everyone had, like, that weird, like, okay, we gotta wear, like, head pan headbands or whatever like that, is, we gotta, it, like, have, like, isn't that midriff... In Midriff showing like shirts and all that stuff. Isn't it that just... more of an '80s thing because it's like no, from no. Eight, it's '80s? From... had big hair, you know, leg warmers. Well, there's there's another Donkey Kong. God, his veins are huge, bigger than his eyeballs. Now we're gonna give him a tail. <laughs> nah, wait, Donkey Kong doesn't have a tail. Are you sure? Is this like the Curious George situation? Are oh, you doing? Uh... God, I can't, I can't remember his name. Oh my god. Diddy Kong. D god, that would annoy me so much. Diddy Kong? More like Diddy Kong? <laughs> I don't know, man. He was pretty good in Smash. He's like a very good character. Well, Do you remember Leo Luster from the cartoon? Who? Leo Luster. Oh. He was this really cool ape that showed up and he's like, My name is Leo Luster. He just like sang and everything and kicked all the crocodiles' butts and like everyone hated Donkey Kong. Not because it's nothing Donkey Kong did wrong, it's just Leo Luster was so cool and how dare Donkey Kong not be as cool as Leo Luster. I don't remember that. He was kind of a jerk. Look at him, Diddy Kong. God, he looks like he's gonna like sexually assault someone, Jesus. I mean, maybe he is. Maybe Diddy Kong is on is the this list. Is this like the dark timeline or whatever? Where they never got their bananas back. <laughs> they had to substitute it for something else, which was cocaine. Oh my god. Anyways. 
beating King K. Rule took so much effort when I was like, how was I like 10 or something? I was still in fourth grade, it had to have been that. I just remember being so excited. But then there's that like also really like depressive moment after you beat a game where you're like, well, I've done everything. There's nothing left. There they are. God, his, he's ain't his prolapsed. <laughs> Let's see. What? Well, Donkey Kong Kart. Oh, God. Curve. Oh, what the heck? No. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I'm pretty sure Windows did some weird update recently. Where, Donkey like, Kong Cartoon. Leo Luster. I'm pretty sure you might have that. Yeah, Leo L Look at him. Look how cool he is. Is he just... Is he... Just, I'm is sure he just he Bluster Kong's cousin or something like that? I was about to say because he looks just like Bluster. But God, the guy just shows up out of nowhere and it's like he has Kamehameha powers and crap like that. He might actually just be Lust Bluster, Bluster, but Bluster, but cooler. Something happened yeah. to him. I just I'd... know, like, I just know he shows up with like the pompadour and like the hand, the weird mustache or whatever. And he's like, you know, he's. Mm, I'll peel your banana. Well, let's draw. Well, let's do him next. Oh God! God, the Donkey Kong, the Donkey Kong, like franchise has always been like so weird because of how different, like, different media like portrays him. Did you ever play any of the um? What are they called? Uh, I, I played the Mario and Donkey Kong uh, games where, like, you know, it's like... Uh, these toys. The, yeah. Toy. That was weird because it was, like, going back to, like, what people remember, or how they remember when Donkey Kong first showed up. Where he's supposed to be the bad guy or whatever. Yeah, something like that. But it's like, you spent, like, the last 20, 30 years or whatever, like, as Donkey Kong as being the good guy. It's like, it's really weird to see him just go back to that. Well, what, um... This is confusing me, this guy's design. <laughs> What's wrong, Logan? Can't you understand? He's Leo Lester. He's cool. Just draw a cool eight. That's all you gotta do. He's got, like, disgusting lips. Everyone had disgusting lips in this cartoon. No, oh, this guy specifically. Him and... Mm. Well, I mean, him and Lester. Like, look. Like... Horrifying. Logan, look at this though. Average Donkey Kong fan and average Leo Luster enjoyer. See? It's very obvious. These memes. These these memes. So go on, you were asking a question? God, I don't even remember. I'm getting so distracted by this. <laughs> You're just guys. drawing him as ugly as possible, my god. That I'm, I'm drawing him as accurate as possible. <laughs> You have to remember, these were like 90s, like 3D animation designs. They do not translate well to did, other... Uh... Did you play Donkey Kong 64? Yes. I... Well, you kind of had to if you wanted to get the expansion pack or whatever. You could buy the expansion pack separate. Yeah, but no no parent was going to be like, why would I do that when I can just buy this game and you'll get it anyways? But, um... The actual way I played it the first was actually at my cousin's house and... His uh, Nintendo 64 broke when he, uh... Well, he says the dog peed on it, but his mom told me he peed on it. So... He probably sure. did pee on it, then, and then he just didn't want you to know that he did, because he knows that's a stupid thing to do. Well, he's not he, he meant to, but, like, he wet the bed. Like, you what, know. He, what was he doing? Sleeping with his Nintendo yeah. 64? He, he, he had the TV close by and he propped the N64 up on his bed with him. So he'd just be laying down and playing real late at night. And so like, I guess he just went to sleep. And like the N64 was like so close enough that like when he like wet the bed it just got all over it. But what I'm... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but what I'm like... What are you what's doing always, like, Jesus the... about? This is what he looks like! <laughs> <laughs> this what, is what always confused me is like how much did he pee in order to actually like ruin that Nintendo 64? Because like, like he had to have drunk like five bottles of water or something. Because they showed it to me and it was like God, just drenched in pee, just sticky all over. Sticky. I guess the whose pee, pee is sticky, there? I don't, man. I've never looked at pee when it's like you know had time to wait on plastic before that. That's just what it looked like. His pee just looked real sticky. I, I wasn't going to touch it. 
But anyways, what are you laughing for? <laughs> Don't ask me how I laugh. You know this is funny. But anyways, first time I played Donkey Kong 64 was like after he got a new Nintendo 64. Yeah. By the way, he just his parents bought him a oh, new wait. Nintendo 64 after peeing on it. Like you know, if I had peed on my PlayStation, there's no way my dad would have got me a new one. I'd be like, sorry. It's like, sorry, son. You peed on it. You're gonna have to play with it. But he got the he got the Donkey Kong one. You know, the came of the game, so like it was the yellow one. Uh like that. Super cool. Like God, I could not get over how like awesome it was just to like move around like like in Mario 64, really, you know? So like that game's made Are you just trying to do like meat candy in this guy or something? What the f you talking about? I'm making him fit in the canvas, Derek. <laughs> uh Oh god, is that how Mikania designs his character? He's just like, he makes doesn't it. want to make them, like, you have to put in the canvas. But anyway, <laughs> uh, no, um, I, I read, what was it, like a year and a half ago, I played, the, I finished that game. Uh, I always had trouble getting through it. I remember you telling me about that, because it has its bugs. It's, okay, so the bugs is the only way I could beat it. Uh, because, uh, um, <laughs> You need a certain number of banana, of golden bananas to get past, like, a, a certain door, right? Yeah. Uh, but, like, one of the bananas you need to get, you have to go into a level, and there's an arcade machine, and you've got to play several levels of classic Donkey Kong to get it. And you were like, I'm not doing that. No, you've got, and once you get it, and I beat it, you've got to do it again to get, like, a gold coin from it, and because you, you need that, too. And it's, like, they're slightly harder, I think, and I'm like... I'm not doing that. I kept dying. I was like, I've already learned this game. I'm not going to learn that. So I found a bug where you could play Diddy Kong and you jump between two computers and it lets you go out of the geometry and you can just walk under <laughs> the door and then jump up and into oh it. Oh my God. And that's how I did it. And I was like, it saved me a lot of time. I learned that from some guy's speed run and it's super easy to do. And uh, that's how I got to the final boss. It's funny that we only have the expansion pack because of that game though, really. Because it was just so big and it just would not... The, the N64 hardware just would not work for it. <laughs> okay, do you know why... Do you know why <laughs> the expansion pass is even part of that? Because the game was just so... It, it had... it. The game came with so, already it too had, many bugs. It had a game-breaking bug that made it unplayable. And the expansion pass doesn't do anything to improve the game. The only thing it does is give the extra memory so that that bug doesn't apply. Right. And I, I just thought that was the funniest thing because, like, the expansion pass doesn't enhance the graphics, the sound, or anything. And Nintendo could have easily just, like, you know, waited and just, like, fixed it. But, like, they were like, nope, we're pushing this out. So they're like, okay, crap. Here you go. Here's an expansion pack. It's the only way to make it. It worked game. really well. It. You needed it to play uh, Majora's Mask, didn't you? Yeah, you needed it for Majora's Now, Majora's Mask, it actually does some things for. Because, like, if you notice in Ocarina of Time, the jars are shaped like diamonds, basically. Yeah. But, like, because of the extra memory in the expansion pass, uh, or the expansion pack, not pass, uh, you're able to get, like, some... Uh, you're able to, like, I, I don't know, more polygons, so, like, the jars actually look like jars. That's right. the best way I can explain it. Um, that, brings, that makes me remember, like, how close it came to, like, Sony actually working with Nintendo. Where they had the, uh... There's a few of the... There's a few of those floating around, those, like, models yeah, those of... Yeah, recent, too. People just found those. What is it? The, uh, Sony... Oh, is it, it's the Sony disk drive or whatever. The Nintendo Pl Nintendo PlayStation is what it's called, I yeah, think. Yeah, but it's like... It's a disk drive for the SNES, right? I think it was the SNES. It might have been for the 64, to be honest, but like I think it was the SNES. I think it I think it was the SNES, because it plays Super Nintendo games. No, look, he's got a bong, because he's so freaking cool. <laughs> this guy's my favorite one Don't I've drawn. mom it? tattoo on his shoulder. Mom tattoo? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Or just milk. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Oh, and then like. No, 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 no. He's got to have another one oh, here over no. his left, his left pectoral that says. No, I was just about to say like we could have made a really good like you know instead of mom, it's momkey. And he's got one that says daddy right over his left pectoral. 
And then, like, right on his right butt cheek is Grandma. Oh, hold on. I didn't... There we go. Let me fill that in. Oh, it's good. Now he looks cool. And this is Leo Lester. <laughs> this is Leo Lester as, like, he is deserved to be... Um... Ooh. Man... I'm cool, man! Don't forget that nipple piercing. Oh, you're right. That's that, that's not that's a stud. Yeah, he's got a stud. He, a, you're supposed to use a ring. No, he gets a stud. Because <sighs> he is a stud. You're right. <laughs> I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Man. <laughs> he's I, so horrified. I don't. I it. don't want to make him. I don't want to make him go does away. Look like something out of a meat canyon video, though. So. I don't want to make him go away. I mean, I, I love him too much. Oh, sure. Where's my bananas? Oh, gosh, dang it. Uh, well, Leo Lester's gone. So, you know, I, we've been talking about Donkey Kong, but we played other video games. Yeah, but Donkey Kong. Come on, what was the first video game you ever beat? Donkey Kong. It was not Donkey Kong. I could be, I guess. I don't <laughs> you don't know what. Oh, the just gave me like the most. I didn't beat Donkey. The first video game I ever beat. Oh God. Was uh. What the hell was it? <laughs> oh! I, you know, I didn't beat the original Mario game. I was little and I was bad at it. I think I know what it was. You bad at Mario? Were you one? Yeah, I was like really little. Okay. That, that was the first game I played, though. The first game I ever beat that I remember beating anyway. Was uh, Crash Bandicoot right on Crash Bandicoot Two to be specific? Yeah, Crash Bandicoot was such a good series, and it makes me so mad how Universal basically just ran that into the ground. Well, now Activision owns it. True, and like the remasters they've done recently, the remasters for Crash and Spiral have been really good. Yeah, they are really good. Uh, Move over, Sonic! Here comes uh, Bandicoot. Because of that, I was the. I was finally able to just finish Crash Bandicoot 1 because I never finished it back in the day. And it's got those two extra cut content levels. They're really freaking hard, by the way. Yeah. They're, like, ridiculously hard. Like... Crash Bandicoot has, like, the, 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 one of the best, like, villains, I feel. What, Cortex? Yeah, he's so cool. Well, not cool, but he's funny. He's funny because he's pathetic. A Bandicoot. <laughs> His giant head with... With the N on it. Oh, I I used to draw like pictures. His name is Neo Cortex, isn't it? Yeah, his first name's Neo. I guess. I, oh, is this Crunch Bandicoot? No, this is Crash Bandicoot. Okay. Yow! Wow! Umbra. See, that's the, that's the things I remember the most from that video game series. It's like not even the levels most of the time. It's just like the sound effects. Umbra. Boom. Although I do remember the rock, the rolling rock that you had to avoid. I probably died of that so many times. Oh yeah, uh, those were hard for me when I was a kid. Like those it's levels like, I can't specifically. Can't see what's going on. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, basically. I think I played the first time I played that game. I had to do it without the uh, analog controller for the PlayStation, which. To be fair, that's not what they shipped with. They shipped with, like, you know, the, uh... We still got... It's funny, we still got Donkey Kong music uh, playing, but I'm drawing Crash Bandicoot now. I mean, they're pretty similar. They both take places in jungle territories. There's crocodiles. Did you play, uh... I mean, I, I guess you probably didn't, uh... But did you play, uh, Crash Bandicoot 4, the new one they released like a year ago or something no i haven't had a chance to but it looks really good it's pretty good i know some people were kind of iffy about it i liked it it there's parts of it it eventually gets just as hard as like old crash bandicoot like the final one of the final platforming levels is so ungodly hard i wish spyro had gotten as popular as crash did because i feel like spyro isn't looked upon as fondly it it is by furries that's what i mean though <laughs> it's like Crash is a little, a literal furry, but you don't see that much of him. Not it's, as much. It's mostly just his underage niece. Not as much. Or sister. I can't remember what it is. Uh, it's his sister. And then, 
whatever the other big booby one was. Anna? You I don't, guess. You don't see as much of her as you do the underage. I, I assume she's underage anyway. I don't know. I don't know. I, I remember she, she was cool because she rode a tiger. Yeah. That was awesome. Cr Crash Bandicoot 3 is probably the best out of the original trilogy. <laughs> Why does he have such a big bulge? <laughs> what the? We, what are you talking about? That's just Crash Bandicoot. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! No, wait. This is Crunch Bandicoot. So it's... Yo! Uh, I've heard... Uh, what is it? Crash Bandicoot fell apart when... At... So Wrath of Cortex, which was the first game not made by Naughty Dog, I think? Pretty much. It's like, as soon as Naughty Dog stopped being in charge of it, it's like... why There was like a quality drop. Just like with the... That's Spyro, why... Spyro, really, like... I think that's I'm why a lot of... I'm pretty sure Universal was the ones who, like, just took over that so much, because they owned it anyways, but it's like... I think that's why a lot of people don't like, uh... Brunch, because he was the character that was introduced in, uh... Wrath of Cortex or something? I think so. I know Spyro games got really weird because they started getting way too serious and with their designs and everything. Like, it's like uh, it's like how you go from like you know the first two Harry Potter movies to something like here we are in Prisoner of Azkaban and everything's really dark looking and serious for some reason. It never got like you know really edgy or anything, but it's just like the Spyro games just sort of. Well, look it up. Look at, like, uh, I'm pretty sure it was, like, the third Spyro game or whatever, where their design just started looking really, like, too off from how well, they originally were. The first three Spyro games were made by... Or, was it the first three? The first it three... The, fourth one. the first Year of the Dragon, I think. First, I think Year of the Dragon is one of the ones not made by the original yeah. guys, but the first three are the good ones people remember. What do you think of my Crash Bandicoot? I think I would run from that thing if I ever saw it coming at me. Because he looks like he's a mixture between a garbage disposal unit and a, like, you know, water pail. Just looks like Crash, just looks like Crash Bandicoot to I me. Mean, that was uh, pretty insulting, he's Derek. He's flipping me off, too, so I'm not really happy with that. Not really happy. How dare he? Well, let's see. What should we, what should we end on? Well, you know what my favorite, like, Super Nintendo game is? <clears throat> Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Yeah. I played that every day I could, and... Just like how, like, Super Mario World and uh, Donkey Kong Country were something I play with my mom a lot. Uh-huh. Uh, Zombies Ain't Manners were something I play with my cousins and my uh, sister a lot. Like, I have a fun memory of that. That also didn't have a save function, so, like, you know, you basically had to just try to beat it all in one go. Like, there were the uh, level codes and all that, but... Oh, I know what we should end on. Okay, I guess you know how about Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. Yeah, don't really care. Okay, fine. Don't really care. What do you want to talk about? Logan? I'm talking about and what I. Oh, should, I don't care. I'm talking about what I should end on drawing. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you, Frankie Kong is always a good choice. I'm gonna draw King K. Rule. Okay. Because I haven't drawn him before. Don't look him up. Just do it from memory. Yeah, I, I need a picture of him. Okay, King fine. K. Rule. How have you not seen him for a while? He's in Smash. I haven't played Smash in a hot a minute. He looks like he's, like, basically a King Hippo from Punch-Out or whatever, just wearing a scaly suit, you know? It's funny how there is some fetish art that just pops up on the front page because of how much fat fetish art there is of him. fetish already. That's... Okay, let's see. Eh, eh, eh. So what do you think? You think King K. Rool could beat Bowser? I mean... <laughs> I mean, the... the supreme drip yeah well let's see I, I honestly consider like donkey kong bowser and if we're gonna throw him in there king k roll like they're some of the big beefy guys who i feel like could literally just like beat the living crap out of each other i would love to see a video game where like you take um the different video game characters and put them in the other situation like you know i'd love to see like mario deal with like donkey kong country or to see Donkey Kong in general deal with like the whole like Mario stuff because I feel like there's different ways they'd handle it, you know. Well, it's just like the same game, just you play Donkey yeah, Kong but in it. They use their way, their methods of doing things. So like with Donkey Kong, he could like he'd still bounce on stuff, but you know he can still roll through stuff, or he's like riding around on rhinos or whatever. Mario, he has to like he has like the uh, double jump and all that stuff. 
or his different power ups. I guess it all depends on which version of Mario. If you want like side scrolling, like original Mario before he has the triple jump or after the triple jump or. Oh yeah, that's right. Mario didn't have a double jump or a triple jump until like uh, like uh, sixty four. Uh, yeah, sixty four. Now he's got it in like. That's like so common nowadays. I just like completely forgot. Yeah, he didn't have it till. Okay. Uh. I get, well, we know Crash could just whip everyone's butt. Just. Because his spin is an instant His kill. spin is broken. And then he gets, like, you know, the, uh... What's the mask name? Logan, you're the, um... Aku local, Aku. like, um... Crash Bandicoot lorist. What's the mask name? I just said it. It's Aku Aku. Aku Aku. That's right. He's, he's a... He's like a... Tribal... A he's a Maui, like... He's an ad, he's like an that. aboriginal man. Aboriginal? Yeah. Oh, original. I swear to God, Dave. <laughs> You're lucky there's no aboriginals that will listen to this. You don't know that we could have a big like fan base. In abor of aborigines? Yeah. It's possible, I don't know. Jesus. <laughs> you know what I like? In the cartoon King K rule is like super effeminate. Like, is he? Yeah, he's like super effeminate. Oh, so it's like Frieza. Kinda, except maybe a little bit more effeminate. He's God, a... Frieza's one of those first characters I ever thought was like, wow, this isn't a girl? Uh, save that for the Dragon Ball episode. Okay, <laughs> fine. Save that for Remember the... Remember to catch our Drawn to Completion Dragon Ball episode, appearing at a later date. Or never. We don't know. <laughs> we, did, we gotta do a Dragon Ball episode. Yeah, there's so much we could talk about, just from like... No, we'll save it, we'll save it, we'll save it. That's something that me and you both at least have knowledge of. Look but at him, he's incredible. He's, he's so bad. He's... I can relate to this. He's the <laughs> peak male performance. He, yes, he's the Sigma male. Look at him. I can't remember if Sigma males are good or not. I think so? I don't know. I don't know. I don't keep up with, like... What's popular? Does right he have or? a tail? Didn't look like he has a no, tail. No, oh, no, I, I almost forgot. He to... has a cape, Logan. What's wrong with you? Trying to make him naked? Yeah. Yeah, she, yeah. Look, he, he literally does just remind me of King Hippo, though. I mean, they're both big fat guys. Why do you like that his eyes are so similar? The, the designs are so similar. Let me Plus, draw... hippos and crocodiles are, like, natural enemies. Well, not really. I mean, hippos basically, like, bully crocodiles. Let me draw King Hippo from memory, and we'll see if I can... I'm just peeking over his shoulder angrily. Are you winning, son? That's my headcanon. King Hippo is uh, King K. Rool's father. Just made that up just they're now. They're both royalty. They're both royalty, Logan. Yeah, or but they're perhaps they're, like, you know... Natural enemies, rival. because they both like rule Pacific Islands and stuff like that. Actually, is, does Kiki really even have an island? He or looks. You just, you're just drawing Patrick. He just looks like <laughs> he just looks like Caveman Patrick. <laughs> no, starve. You remember, like, where he goes back in time yeah. in the Caveman Patrick? <laughs> no, no, make it long. Make it go all the way over. <laughs> <laughs> tiny, tinier hands, tinier, tiny. Then they get gold, tiny as you can. God, he's so big, tiny like. <laughs> I don't know. This makes no sense. It's got. He's <laughs> raining. Oh my god. Hey, this is a. Uh, this has been pretty fun, though, just talking about Donkey Kong again. Donkey Kong, a little bit of Crash Bandicoot. Uh, this is. What? Join how, horrible how many are we in? 34. Yeah, that's good enough. So, uh, join us next time where we do more low effort show. Uh, this has been Drawn to Completion.